What is up, YouTube? So, I got this 2000 Subaru Legacy wagon, 5 speed. It needs a clutch. And uh, I've never worked on a Subaru, so figured I should film it, I guess. Um, I've been really unmotivated, so I'm just going to set some goals. At least get this thing moved. Get some cars moved around. Get it in the carport. Get it on jack stands. At least, like, get the starter off and, like, maybe the drive line. Get that out. Exhaust out the way. Um, some bell housing bolts. Cross member. Take the shifter out. And from there, well, actually, it's all-wheel drive, so I'm going to have to pull the front axles, too. Drain everything. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to, as long as I get it in there and on jack stands, I'm happy. Yeah, beauty. That will be. <sighs> Shit, I went right up on that diff, bruh. Because we different. Nice. Alright, so now that the car is all up in the air, um, I am actually going to do my first underneath visual look up uh, little inspection whatever Whew, okay it looks like I did not lift up high enough oh, shit. Okay. Whew. oh that's a whole lot of car under here all right looks like there's a fucking huge skid plate covering everything or heat shield for the Drive line and shit. There's a bunch of cross. Got man. Well, these sure aren't like Toyotas. All right, guys. So I ended up lifting it up a little bit more. Holy shit! It's a big ass scratch. Anyway, um, the exhaust is so freaking rusty. Oh my god. Okay, so I had to take it off from the mid. There's no way I'm getting it off right there, so I'm just gonna pull off the whole thing, but I'm feeling kind of ricer. I wanna hear what this thing sounds like with just like, just a header and a cat. <laughs> It's kind of 
hardware all looks like that. That's AIDS. Alright. Put the cat back off. This guy has two cats. I don't, I don't, maybe that's what resonated. I don't know. But, uh. Shit was heavy. Everything's rusty. All the hangers were. I had to loop them up. Next. Um, heat shields, drive line, drain fluids. Someone definitely went wheeling in this thing. Cause there's there's like rocks and shit falling everywhere. Fuck. Really? Of course. Exhaust is blocked by that one. <laughs> and now you can see the drive line. Take it off from there, and then rear dip. Carrier, which is surprisingly pretty good. And it'll slide out the trans. I just freaking let this thing fall on my chest. Alright guys, so I'm gonna call it there for right now, I've probably worked like two hours on it, and uh, I got the headers off, the exhaust, cats, O2s, all that shit, the um, heat shields that cover the drive line, pulled the drive line, I uh, got the transmission drained, I mean all that was hard because it was really rusty. Looked like it's never been touched in its life. It's very dirty under there. Yeah, I need to go get some food. I might work on it later. Uh, if I do work on it later, I'm just gonna do what I can do in the engine bay. Well, what is up guys? Um, it is hours later. I've uh, got food. I did a dump run. Um, still at the same progress point. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of progress up in the engine bay. Just a little bit of something.
Alright. So I got the slave pulled. I got the starter pulled out. I got, um, let's say maybe like half the bell housing bolts pulled off. Obviously the upper trans mount. A couple plugs. And that's about it for the day. Show you guys a little sneak peek. These are for the Cressida short knuckles, inch and a half extended lower control arms. And I got some other goodies coming in. We're gonna get her dialed in.